All right, I am back. Hey, look at this class setup. This is something I would never do. I got two perks on. I put like five attachments on a gun. The reason I'm doing this is because people have been tweeting out they remove skill-based matchmaking. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to play this game with no thought process. Literally, this is going to be the most unskilled ver version of me playing. I'm going to slide around. I'm going to jump on things I never jumped on before. Just to see if their skill-based matchmaking has been removed. Now here, let me show you this first. David Von Hart tweeted out, anything for subs and views. We didn't just introduce anything. Connection is king continue to be so, period, in a conversation. Basically, it sounds like he's trying to diss us and say that there was no skill-based matchmaking, which I think is a complete lie. You notice I tweeted back at him, lies. Because I'm going to tell you right now, yesterday for a few hours, it was the sweatiest lobbies I, I've been in. And I had people tweeting me pictures of their lobby. Like, if you go to live, lobby leaderboards, and these are people that play the game all the time. And they're showing me. And these are good people. With people with, like, score per minutes. Like, I was in lobbies. I'm looking at the lobby leaderboard. And they're like, everybody had over a 500 score per minute. Nobody had a low score. I was in some sweaty lobbies. And now we were playing. I had to play hard. I went to a T. Martin video. Yes, I watched the whole T. Martin video for the first time in my life. T. Martin was talking about it. Now, we all know T. Martin, and not a knock on him, but he's kind of like a Call of Duty puppet. Always got something good to say about the game. He was ragging on skill-based matchmaking. He was explaining it, how basically skill-based matchmaking will put you down to about a 1KD. It's to make it even. Now, so we all complained about it, and then all of a sudden, there was a patch. And we get into a game like this. I'm using this game as proof. This isn't going to be my best game play. But if you guys know the way I play and you watch me, I'm doing things I don't normally do. I'm going to be all over this map. I'm going to be just slide, sliding around for no reason, jumping on rocks for no reason. You know why? Because I wanted to see. Now, when you get in lobbies with noobs, sometimes the game is this easy. It takes like zero to no effort. Oh, look, I didn't see that guy there. Okay, so he laid me down. But look, I was sliding around. What do you know your boy to be just sliding into base? You know why? Because I didn't have to. So this game is an example of this, trying to get that revenge kill. You kill me, I kill you. Now, I just got done watching 402 Thunder's video, and he was talking about the great skill-based matchmaking scare of 2015, and it was kind of funny. And he kind of addressed some of the things that a few people said to me. Like, a few people was like, you know, they kind of supported it. Like, especially news. News was like, you know, we don't want to get in lobbies and get destroyed. But in reality... In the long run, it's not going to benefit you. Like, say you do get in a noob lobby in the beginning, and you keep playing noobs, and you play noobs, and you, as you rank up, you're going to have to play better people eventually. And guess what? You're going to get wrecked. You're going to get wrecked when you actually start to play good people. In my opinion, the best... Look at this. I'm just jumping on rocks. It makes no sense the way I'm playing right now, but it's, it's working. You're, go you're eventually going to have to play good people. Now, even if you are a noob, that's the way the game is. To me, the best lobbies is a mixture. One or two good players, so one or two okay players, one or two noobs. At the end of the day, we all like wrecking noobs. Nobody wants to get in the game and go one for one kill. Nobody wants to do that at any level. As a matter of fact, you got MLG players complaining about skill-based matchmaking. Now, don't get me wrong. Playing people at your same level, there is a reason. I mean, there is a time for that. And we all know that. Like Arena... If you play certain game modes, certain game modes were made for more competitive play. Leave it in there. But in the public lobbies, at the end of the day, we want to wreck you noobs. It's it's a rite of passage, as Thunder say. You know, when you're a noob, you got to go through it. You got to go through. You got to get wrecked. And you get better. We all were noobs at one time. I remember getting wrecked. I used to get wrecked all the time. But you know what? I improved. I stepped up my game. I went to YouTube. I learned how to play. Literally, YouTube told me play, and you guys all know my story. Chris Smooth taught me how to be the camper I am today. I always naturally was a camper, but I wasn't a good, effective camper. I started watching this video, so it changed my life. So now here we are. We're in this game here. Now, I, I didn't play for a couple hours. I jumped off, jumped on, and all of a sudden, I'm in this game, and all of a sudden, it's easy. I would literally, for about an hour, I was in game sweating my balls off. I mean, literally, I was in there, felt like I was playing Advanced Warfare all over again. Every lobby I got into, it was like all grand, well, not grand, master prestigious. I had one guy, he was 171. I don't even know how that works. I didn't know you could be 171 level or something. I'm in a game with him, and we were going at it. And these guys, it wasn't even teams. It was a bunch of randoms. My C4 basically wasn't working because every single one of them had to write setup on. Um, getting into score streaks was almost impossible. Literally, we all finished the game. We all were like 19 and 60, all of us. Like, it was a lobby full of people. Nobody was 1-25 or nothing. We were all about even. The game came down to the final score. Sounds exciting, huh? Sounds like the way it should be. Yeah, competitive. No, nobody wants that. You don't want to compete every single time, and I think people are missing that point. You do want to have 
close games from time to time. But at the end of the day, we love you noobs. We love hunting for you noobs. We love laying you noobs down. Now, I don't want to be in all noob lobbies all the time. But every now and then you get into a lobby and you get some noobs and you're like, yeah, buddy. And you have fun with it, you know. But they try to put the skill-based matchmaking in. And then they try to deny it. I'm, I'm calling you out, Vondahar. I believe you're lying in that tweet. We didn't just introduce anything. Yeah, you didn't just introduce it. See, you got to go through the fine print. We didn't just introduce it. We just tweaked it more. We turned it up. It's kind of like if skill-based matchmaking had a, a knob between 1 and 10, we were running at about a 2 or 3. We just dialed it up. So let me go ahead and tweet out and say we didn't introduce anything. I'm, I'm just flat out saying I don't believe you. Now, look at this first half. I went 16 and 1. I, I'm kind of creeping, not camping, sort of rushing, just moving around, not even trying. And if you notice, when I pull the scoreboard up, the lobby is mixed again. I'm not in there with just a whole bunch of master procedures and high-ranked people. We have some noobs. We have some good people the way the game should be. You know, and look at this. We're up 177, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get into the second half of this game. I'm not going to put much effort. Like, literally, I'm just sliding around. I'm just, just playing casual. I wanted to play as casual as I possibly could for you guys. This is the kind of lobby, if I camped, I feel like I could have went 50-0. I'm not going to even lie. Because of the, this dude jumping on my head, because of the nature of these guys, I don't feel like it would have been a problem. Look at even the setup I'm using. I'm, you know, I'm just randomly going with Severus. I'm going with a sentry gun. And I'm going with a Wraith because, you know what, I didn't want to have to fly anything. I wanted to be casual and just kind of move around the game. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm protecting my flag. And I'm still playing. I'm playing to win. But at the same time, I'm not putting the same effort into the game like I normally would. When would I ever run this route? I don't think I've sat in this window one time. One time since this game been out. Look, I'm just sitting up here trying to pick off the noobs. And look, for some reason, I'm getting hit markers. But I'm not complaining because it's too easy. Look at that. He has a guardian right there. Look, I think I'm going to get taken out right here. I think this is one of the times I'm going to die. I don't quite remember. Look, I'm just shooting at a whole bunch of people. And this gun is a good gun. I got like five attachments on. I think the silencer is kind of reducing my range. But I have a long barrel, a silencer on here. You know what I really like about this gun that I've been playing with? And I'll probably do a video on it. Extended max. All of a sudden, this thing feels like a... Um, Look at this. I'm trying to get him. I, I see him over. I'm trying to get him. Oh, someone took me out. I was trying to hit him with the killer bees and with the Gorgon. But I'm not going to complain. Good use of the Gorgon. Because if I complain about it, they're probably going to nerf it. Now, I want to say big shout out to the community. Every single person that jumped on this skill-based matchmaking, even though Vondahar is denying it, I feel like the community made a difference. They came in. Everybody started complaining. And it got removed fairly quick. And I mean, I'm not going to take the credit for my video. I know I was one of many YouTubers. But I feel like that's what it took all of us complaining. Now, some people were accusing us, too, also of making it happen. You know, we were complaining about the, the way the matchmaking was set up. And so they felt like they needed to do something. Maybe it is our fault. You know, at the end of the day, we YouTubers do, um, you know, put our opinions out there. But maybe our opinions are hurting the game sometimes. You know, I'm not going to even deny that. You know, we came in and Thunder was complaining about it. Because, you know, we were getting in these lobbies. It's kind of like we, we wanted a tweak. We didn't want skill based matchmaking. I mean, I think that's what people are failing to realize. It wasn't like, hey, come on, let's go back to the advanced warfare setup. The only thing we were saying is just balance the teams better. When you get into a lobby, if you're the greatest player on the team, you don't want, you know, five noobs with you. Give us a medium. Give us a mediocre player. I think that was the whole point of what we were trying to convey. Because I've been in many games and my team is bad. Now, if it's me on one team and another good guy on team and we all got bad guys, I can deal with that. But you, when you're in a lobby and you're losing to mediocre players, it doesn't feel good. Like, sometimes you get in a, a game and you can tell these players aren't that good. Oh, look. Ah! Oh, I tried to panic knife them and get laid out. It's all about balance. And like I said, look at this game. I'm not doing anything. I'm just running around. Look, am I going to capture B? Have you seen any video yet with me trying to capture B? This has to be a first. And look, I got laid down. That's why I never go to B. B is the put you down route. Look at this. We're up 151 to 110. I think I died like four or five times this half after only dying one the first time. But am I falling back and playing careful? No. I'm just going to run around. Why? Because I'm playing noobs. This this was in honor of removing skill-based matchmaking. You got a camper to come out of his camping spot. I did that for you guys. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys how you guys feel about this. I know a lot of people are tweeting it was never there. Now, there's one guy. I, I don't. Watch this YouTuber, but I know somebody in the Camper Nation was arguing with him on Twitter the other day, and I started doing Sub Lives Matter because to me, the guy was a jerk. I'm not going to say his name, but to me, the guy's an idiot. He was up there trying to talk about us in the beginning. He's, he was like a, a, 
a Call of Duty puppet. It's not in the game. You guys are going to feel really stupid. I don't notice the difference. He's tweeting out his lobbies like, look, my lobbies are easy. And I'm thinking, man, shut up. I don't even know you, but I don't like you. I, you know, it's rare that Saken doesn't like someone because I'm not the kind of person that just don't like people. But he annoys me. I don't know. Maybe it's his face or something. I, I don't know. I don't like the guy. You guys can figure out who it is. I'm not going to say any names, but this guy, he's just like, ugh, shut up. If the whole community is saying it, it's a good chance that it's a strong possibility. If everybody is tweeting me and they're showing me their lobbies, if everybody's saying, wait, hold up, the game feels different, something isn't right, all of a sudden it's sweat fest. Guess what? It's a sweat fest. But you got people like him that want to play the um, devil's advocate, want to be on the evil guy's team. You know what I mean? It's like, why are you kissing a butt, man? Come on, man. The community isn't making this up. And did you notice I got the B flag? And look, I'm guarding the B flag. What am I doing? This doesn't even look like Saken. Who is this guy playing this video? Maybe this is a fake video. I got to check the name on there. Is it really Saken? I'm actually moving around. <laughs> but I'm having fun in this game. Look, we're winning. And look, okay, so I'm sitting there a little longer because they're trying to get B. I'm trying to be slick. Look at me. I'm trying to go out there. So, oh, he got laid down. I am leaving. <laughs> I was like, I'll come back. You know what's funny? I might even play with the dart in the honor of the room. Look at this guy right there. Do you see him? Look, I fell down. Look, I was trying to get that guy. I got him. And look at this. I got my score streaks again. Sentry gun there. Look, it's 189, 191 to 148. Look at this guy. Where you going, son? I'm in all my score streaks. Now, here's for the guys that don't think I can move around and I got to camp on my score streaks. You notice I am playing casual than ever, and I'm running through my score streaks like it's nothing. You know what? That's how it is. I can play this game. I can rush. I can camp. I can move. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you get all the haters that think I got to play one way. I just prefer camping. You guys know that. I've already explained that. But I want to send a shout out to the community. Thank you guys for helping get rid of skill-based matchmaking. It was all over red and everything else. And also, I want to shout out to David Bondahar for lying this morning. Look at that. I went 34-8 and eight with zero effort. 12 captures. Who is this? All right, you guys. I am out. And so is skill-based matchmaking. Let's go. Black Ops, mark up another win. No corpses will ever be found. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance.